In countries across the continent, confidence in the AstraZeneca vaccine is ebbing away, even though the evidence linking it to blood clots is flimsy. The Netherlands has suspended the jab as a precaution, while European medicines regulators investigate the reports, which include some deaths. France, Italy and Germany have also joined around a dozen countries to pause the rollout. The Entscheidung heute ist eine reine Today's decision is a purely precautionary measure. Millions of AstraZeneca vaccinations have been administered across the globe. All of us are very aware of the consequences of this decision and we did not take it lightly. The latest data from the European Medicines Agency shows that out of 5 million AstraZeneca vaccinations given across the continent, there have been 30 reports of people suffering a blood clot soon afterwards. But in a population of that size, you would expect 5,000 people a year to develop blood clots, even without vaccination. That's around 100 a week, many more than the 30 who've had clots after the jab. In the UK, around 11 million people have now had the AstraZeneca vaccine, and the Prime Minister strongly endorsed it. We have one of the toughest and most experienced regulators in the world. Uh, they see no reason uh, at all to uh, discontinue uh, the vaccination programme. Uh, they believe that they are uh, effective, uh, highly effective in driving down uh, not just uh, uh, hospitalisation but, but also serious uh, disease and, and mortality. The World Health Organization has urged countries not to suspend the vaccine because of the very real lethal risk of COVID that it prevents. UK experts are baffled by the European action. We don't think that there is any connection. However, you know, safety is of paramount importance and we will continue to review this data um, on a daily basis, the MHRA. And, and if there's any, any problems at all, we would let the public know at the first uh, instance. But we're not seeing any problems with this vaccine that we're worried about. The European regulator is due to give its assessment of the vaccine's safety later this week. The confidence in the jab in some EU countries was already shaky after they held back at first from giving it to the over 65s. And this new scare, even if unfounded, won't have helped. Thomas Moore, Sky News.